podcast com Marisa Nier. Parag Agarwal is up to something interesting. The former CEO of Twitter, now X, is back in Silicon Valley with a bold new startup. After being ousted by Elon Musk in 2022, he's now launched a new company, Parallel Web Systems, which is trying to do exactly what it sounds like, and that is create a parallel web. This web will be dominated by AI, not by humans. That's right. Agarwal is basically trying to create a web for machines. infrastructure and tools that are optimized for ai agents to access verify and organize data not for people clicking links and scrolling feeds like how you and i do it'll work in real time it scales easily and most importantly he's trying to ensure that it can be trusted because this is one of the main issues of using ai right now especially for searches it hallucinates you may not be sure about the exact source especially if you're using platforms like say chat gpt and agarwal is trying to solve for exactly that but just how viable is this whole idea let's take a deeper look born in india an iit bombay graduate agarwal cut his teeth at microsoft yahoo and at&t research before joining twitter in 2011 as a software engineer he climbed the ladder to cto and in 2021 he became twitter's ceo but his reign was short because just a year later musk swooped in he rebranded twitter as x and he fired agarwal along with thousands of other employees the messy exit had triggered lawsuits worth hundreds of millions in severance some of these remain unresolved even today now fast forward to 2025 agarwal is back and this time he's not just running a social network he's trying to reinvent the web itself The product at the heart of his vision is called Deep Research API. It's an effort to take over ChatGPT in the AI development race. According to Agarwal, it already outperforms both humans and leading AI models including GPT-5 on two tough benchmarks: Deep Research Bench and Browse Comp. It can dig up hard to find information, compile it, and it can present it to you with attribution and confidence scores. So this ends up making the results not just fast but also more trustworthy. Agarwal says that millions of research tasks already run daily on parallel systems powering coding agents, enterprise research and even workflow automation for public companies. Now think of Google or perplexity right now. They serve people. You type, they answer. Parallel is different. It serves machines. Its API lets AI agents run deep research, scan multiple engines and return structured outputs. Machine ready data with sources attached then come. For enterprises this can be gold. Finance, law, healthcare, all these fields where accuracy matters, they could just plug parallel into their own systems and it'll cut human error and AI hallucination. Well, not entirely. The tech world has long imagined a programmatic web where machines can interact directly with data instead of simulating human clicks. The next leap, the agentic web, sees AI not just fetching information but also taking action: booking flights, buying groceries, writing reports. Parallel's pitch is that it's building the first serious infrastructure for this shift. This is unlike web 3 which had promised decentralization but it fizzled out within a few years. Agarwal wants a practical scalable web where AI is the primary user. But there is a catch. Every major web revolution whether it was HTML, metadata standards or mobile apps, they relied on standards and protocols. Without these platforms end up remaining closed silos. And then comes the bot problem. Bots already make up nearly half of all internet traffic. scraping prices spamming clicks inflating ads ai driven bots are smarter they mimic humans they can dodge filters and they can exploit systems a machine first web could turbocharge this chaos unless parallels built in verification and attribution truly separate the good ai agents from the malicious one otherwise the platform could end up drowning in low quality traffic and spam just like today search engines fight endless seo junk Despite these risks investors are buying the vision. Parallel has already raised 30 million dollars from big names like Hosla Ventures, First Round Capital and Index Ventures. For Agarwal this is more than just a comeback story. It's a shot at shaping the next phase of the internet. 
from a human first browsing experience to a machine first research ecosystem so from running twitter to trying to rebuild the internet parag agarwal's journey is a reminder of one thing that sometimes the biggest ideas come after the biggest setbacks while we all look forward to this entire platform and to what comes next you stay tuned to mint for all the latest updates because we are going to keep tracking this story closely thanks for watching